Mr. Secretary General, thank you again uh, for visiting Somalia. Uh, welcome to Mogadishu. Uh, we are deeply appreciative and grateful for the solidarity that you have shown to the people of Somalia and to the government of Somalia at this critical time. The United Nations has always been a partner with Somali people for the last decades, and uh, the Somali people is very much grateful for that. Uh, the visit of the Secretary General with his huge tasks and tight schedules is not easy. And on this great occasion of the Ramadan as well, the solidarity that you've shown to the Somali people is, very, is highly appreciated. Your Excellency, this uh, time Somalia is making progress. We're moving forward on the security so sector side. Somalia is liberating its country from the scorch of international terrorism, which was there for a couple of decades. On the state building side, we have uh, five successive, successful national consultative council meeting with the federal member states to build a consensual agreement. On these meetings, we address the contentious issues of the new review of the Constitution and the challenges of the security sector. We have a very good progress in terms of development of national security architecture and development of national federal uh, judiciary system in terms of uh, developing a fiscal federalism for the whole country that manages the whole thing. As of now, we have a certain priorities which uh, comes together in three main headings. One is liberating the country from the scourge of the terrorism. The other is averting the human uh, famine and uh, humanitarian side. And the third is complete, completing the Hibic point for, for the reform, economic and financial reform of the country as a major portion of the state building. Somalia is prioritizing investing its people in terms of education and health. Recently, we have recruited, started to recruit 10,000 new teachers. It has always been striving and working to strengthen the relationship with the United Nations. So we have been partnering with the United Nations on the humanitarian sector and as well as on other important sectors in the reform of the state building programs of Somalia. At the moment, we're working together with other international partners, the stabilization program of the post-Al-Shabaab or the liberated areas. This will look to the UN to increase critical investment in these areas as these people, as our citizens has been denied the accessibility of civil services for a long time. Another important point that we are partnering with the United Nations is the arms embargo. So the 31st year Somalia is experiencing the arms embargo, which we believe this is the right time. We are very much grateful for the United Nations, your good offices on the support of this issue, as well as the other United Nations Security Council members who show that the Somalia has reached to a level where it has been easy, the embargo has been easy in the past, that helped it a lot, and we are expecting the complete lift in the near future as well. In conclusion, Your Excellency, again, welcome to Somalia, and we are very much grateful for your visit at this critical time in our history. Thank you. Your Excellency, Mr. President, dear members of the press, I'm happy to be back in Somalia six years after my first visit as Secretary General, not to mention the many visits uh, as uh, High Commissioner for Refugees during more than 10 years. And I want to thank President Hussein Sheikh Mohammed and the government for the warm welcome, welcome I enjoyed. This is, above all, a visit of solidarity. Every year, during the holy months of Ramadan, I have the honor of visiting a Muslim country. And today, I am happy to continue this tradition here in Somalia and to fast with you in solidarity. And I wish to thank everyone for allowing me to join in this special time 
and I look forward to later sharing an iftar invited with, by the, His Excellency the President with a group of distinguished guests. The President and I discussed the government's valuable efforts to tackle terrorism and advance peace and security for everyone. And we underline the importance of an ever stronger collaboration between the federal government and states. Federal and state authorities can count on our support for further advanced state building. And we are particularly encouraged by the recent agreement that was established in relation to the different matters of power sharing. And I'm also here to ring the alarm on the need of massive international support. Massive international support because of the humanitarian difficulties the country is facing. Massive humanitarian support in relation to the build-up of a security capacity in Somalia. And massive humanitarian support in stabilization and development of the country. Somalia is experiencing its worst series of five years of drought in recorded history. And I hope that the rain that is coming mm -hmm. uh, will persist sure. and will help address the very challenging situation that was created in the country by drought. And uh, although Somalis make virtually no contribution to climate change, as a matter of fact, Somalia contributes with 0,003% to the emissions that cause climate change, Although Somalia makes virtually no contribution to climate change, the Somalis are among the greatest victims. Nearly 5 million people are experiencing high levels of acute food insecurity. And of course, rising prices make matters worse. So I call on donors and I call on the international community to step up their support to urgently fund the 2023 Humanitarian Response Plan, which is currently just 15% funded. The Somali people deserve the solidarity of the international community and deserve it to prevent malnutrition and displacement, to save lives, to avert famine, but also to be able to launch a new process of stabilization and development in the country and to build up its capacities to fight Shabab with even more efficiency than in the recent past. Dear friends, Somalia embodies Ramadan's timeless message of renewal and hope. In these challenging times, I want to commend your energy and resilience and reiterate the United Nations' unwavering support. We stand in solidarity with the Somali people and the Somali government for peace, for security, and for sustainable development. Ramadan Mubarak, Ramadan Wanaksan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.